Hello, everybody, and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. I hope you enjoyed the video last week of the unboxing of the new Cam Master CNC machine. As I uh, mentioned in there, I've got a lot of great videos to show you. The first one I want to show you is how we take a square block and make it round. Two different methods, utilizing Vectrex software to take a square and make it round. And the second is utilizing simple G-code to make it round. Okay, now, having said all of that, this is how I did it on my machine. Your machine may be different. Your manufacturer may be different. The software you use may be different. This is what I did. If it helps you, great. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is come up to our gadgets wrapping. And what you have to do first is you have to tell Vectrek what the ending result is going to be, your wrapped job setup. We have to do this first. And so we're assuming here that we want to end up with a project that is going to utilize a cylinder that is 24 inches long and three and a half units, uh, in our case, inches in diameter. So this, you want to tell Vectrek what your project is. What kind of piece of wood are you, are you utilizing? In your flat stock, you typically put how big in your uh, X and Y and how thick the product is. Here, we need to tell it how long it is and what diameter product we're using. And again, we're working in inches. Now, for my CN excuse me, CNC machine, we wrap the X values around the Y axis. My um, indexing lathe, if you will, runs parallel with the Y axis. We therefore wrap the X values around that. Check your machine. It may be different. In terms of the XY drawing origin, I have found for me that putting it to the XY to the center of the block works better for me than putting it in any of the corners. Again, check your machine manufacturer. And again, in terms of the Z, we are going to Z off the uh, cylinder axis center. Um, and you'll see when we get into it, it's represented by the bottom of the workpiece. Uh, but this is the exact center of the mill. If you'll look at um, on YouTube for Mick Martin, he gives a great video on how you find the center of your mill. It worked great for me. I invite you to check that out. And this particular job, we are doing a simple cylindrical wrap, X values around the Y axis, and we're going to click OK. Now we have our zero position here in the center. This is our block. Now if you come down here, you'll see now that we're utilizing a 24 inch long and wide piece. It has calculated in order to have a three and a half inch cylinder, our X is 10.9956 inches. So if you were to take that cylinder and lay it out flat, it would be 10.9956 nine nine five six inches in the X and then our Z depth is 1.75 inches because remember this is a cylinder and so if we're working off a flat piece you've got 1.75 inches on the top so to speak and 1.75 inches below the Z giving you a three and a half inch diameter so this is our job setup now Vectric makes it really easy to come up here to gadgets, wrapping, and we want to create a rounding tool path. We are starting here with a square blank. If you were starting with a diameter or a round blank, you would use this section, but we're starting with a square blank that is four inches, and we want to use optimized raster along the cylinder machining the corners off first on the square blank and it's represented here by this little icon or drawing. We're going to call it rounding tool path here and here's where you select your tool. 
your tool database comes up we're going to use an end mill one and a half inch end mill click OK and again we are wrapping our X values around the Y and when it's all said and done we're going to have a cylinder that is 24 inches long and three and a half inches in diameter and we're going to click OK now having done that you'll come over here to your tool paths and you can see we already have a rounding tool path you can save this like you normally do and output this to your machine and let me show you what we get this is representative of the tool path that Vectrek just created you're working in absolute mode we're gonna start at uh, the machine Z0 G53 is the machine Z0 our spindle is off we're running at 18,000 rpm it's then gonna turn the spindle on it sets our X and Y feed rates at 50 inches per minute it sets our Z plunge rate at 25 inches per minute and it sets our A axis which is our lathe at 2,000 degrees per minute we're dealing with a circle so my manufacturer uses degrees per minute you need to check with yours and so this is the G code here that Vectrek created in order to take a 4x4 four four stock and turn it to a three and a half inch diameter piece you get this piece of G code that is 811 lines long okay and you can output this to your machine there's a video coming up shortly that will show you the Vectrek rounding tool path now I have been experimenting with some G code I have been spending some time on the cam master forum uh, camheads.org and uh, talking to some of the guys posting some questions as it relates to G code and I wanted to create my own G code so I created a G code which is taking a four by four uh, square block to a three and a half inch diameter and in order for me to do this as you see here I've, I'm doing this in one pass and instead of 811 lines we're doing it in roughly 17 and so I just want to walk you through this again this works on my machine I don't know if it'll work on your machine but if this helps you great so we're gonna start out G90 which is absolute mode we're gonna put G53 Z0 and these G code definitions the G90s the G5s the G01s etc you can get all of this information off the internet there's plenty of places that explain what these prefixes are but we're gonna go G53 Z0 we're gonna start at G0 X0 Y0 and for me that's in the center of the workpiece S15000 means we're gonna turn our spindle at 15,000 M3 is turn the spindle on F15000A means we're gonna feed our uh, lathe at 15,000 degrees per minute and then we're gonna bring our Z down to 1.75 which is an inch and three quarters above the center of our uh, lathe we are then going to turn our A 47,520 degrees and we're going to move our Y as we do that 33 and a half inches. So this is what we're telling the lathe to do. We're saying, hey lathe, move 47,520 degrees and move the Y 33 and a half inches while you do that. And so you'll see in the video where it, it spins, that spins the lathe while the y-axis or the cutter moves then once we get to y 33 and a half we're going to bring our cutter back up to z0 we're going to turn our spindle off we're going to take y back to the starting or zero position and we're going to send our a-axis the the lathe back to its zero at 75,000 degrees per minute okay 
This is the G code that you'll see in the second segment, the second video here. This is what I used in order to take the four by four and make it a three and a half inch diameter cylinder. In some upcoming videos, we will dissect these degrees, feeds, and speeds. This was the first time that I did this. I wanted to share it with you and show you an alternative to rounding. First video that you're going to see coming up is the Vectrek knocking the corners off and making it round. And the second video you're going to see is this G-code in action taking the 4x4 and turning it round. I hope you enjoy. Again, we've got some great videos coming up in the future. We've really done some great things with the CNC machine, the new Cam Master CNC machine. Can't wait to show you. But let's start here with the rounding tool pass. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.